Hi everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to go through how to create a responsive rig where shapes and layers will avoid each other in cavalry. So to begin, I'm going to start in a fresh scene and I've got one here where I've already built a text shape. To start, we need to add a sub mesh deformer to our text shape. So to do this, we're going to find deformers, click on the plus, come down to sub mesh and click. And then double click sub mesh in the scene tree to load it into the attribute editor. And our sub mesh, we now need to add a get vector behavior to the position. So right click position, add behavior, get vector. The get vector is going to adjust the position of each shape in the sub mesh based on the position of a target shape. And as you can see, we don't have a target shape yet, so we need to make one. And we're going to use an ellipse shape. So we're going to alt or options click on the ellipse tool. And with the ellipse loaded, we're just going to change the radius to 50 by 50 and change its color to green. And then back on the get vector, we're going to click and drag the ellipse shape straight into the target input of the get vector. I'm also going to change the strength on the get vector to 1000. Now, when you look at it, you can see that the text is already beginning to move away from the ellipse. But it's not as strong as we need it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the sub mesh. I'm going to right click position and I'm going to add a expression. And the expression we're going to use is times 10 by times 10. So that expression is taking the incoming value from the get vector and we're timesing it by 10. So it's a bit stronger. And as you can see, we are much closer to the finished product. Just going to reset those. Okay, so now we've got the base rig set up. We're going to go one step further and we're going to hook it all together using a connect shape. So we're going to open the quick add menu using control or command full stop. Search for the connect shape. Hit enter and we've created a connect shape. I'm just going to move this to the bottom of the hierarchy so it's behind everything. Uh, I'm going to change the connect shape stroke to two. And then we're going to go to the target tab of the connect shape and we're going to change distribution to sub mesh. And we're going to add the text shape as an input shape of the target. You can see that this is already connecting some of the characters together, but not all of them. So we need to go to source and we're going to change count to 10 and size to 800. And now when you move the ellipse, you can see that the connect shape is moving along with the characters, which is pretty cool. But we want the connect shape to look at the ellipse as well when we're moving it around, just so it's a little bit more dynamic. And to do this, we're going to add a projection target to the connect shape. So if you open the connect shape, go to the shape tab, and then go down to line type and change this to auto bezier. And then auto bezier mode to projection vectors. And then we're going to change the control point bias to minus two and end 0.2. And then we need to click and drag the ellipse shape straight to the projection target. And we're done. So it should be noted that you don't have to use uh, text shapes for this. You can do this with duplicators, groups, SVGs. Uh, here's a quick example that I made earlier using a duplicator. Um, hopefully this can give you some ideas on building your own rigs. But as usual, feel free to request any tutorials in the comments and we'll see what we can do for you. Thanks and goodbye.